Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Makes you wonder what we're going to find down there. Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Right. But then what? It plays pretty rough, and if it is a Reaper, I don't know that's the kind of help we want. We're not gonna win this war by turning away help. Even if it does have blood on its hands. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. It's here. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible? The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! was. We're not the first to get hit. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Can't say I recognize any of those ships. Just how long have they been here? Shepard, we got one of those artifacts. Explains why no one gets out of here. CSEC, they always said the key to decomposition was scavengers. Without them, it's quite a mile.
the Normandy pick us up. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Go underwater? In that thing? It can handle the depth. Not saying it'll be easy, but I don't see any other options here, Commander. Well, if that's what we have to do, then let's finish this. Hold on a second. Are we actually considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I suppose we are.
These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. I got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in.
spotter before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Listen, Chip, I'm all for crazy ideas, but this one's off the charts. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, SEALs check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. I want to take a look around first. Come back when you're ready. Ready for a swim? Let's go. But Shepard... I'll be fine. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. So far? Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Sure, if you can read me up there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is moving up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. <clears throat> Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. I'm not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. I'll worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Can't see anything just yet. Found the probe. Seems intact. 
I'm gonna keep moving. happening. machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination is not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the Thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach 
reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood.
Dispatch, Cortez, talk to me. Shepard, wake up. She's freezing. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. Never do that again. How did it go down there? We found it. It's real. And a lot more than we ever imagined. So was it worth almost dying for? It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's part of this war now. And it's gonna help fight. That's incredible. Yeah. One for the history books. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out.